Hey everybody out there on YouTube, Jay Murray the Golden Tornado here, and today I want to talk to you about light switches and plugs. But no, seriously, I want to talk to you about this right here. Anyways, um, these two things right here I got from the local Piggly Wiggly, because they remodeled, um, and a bunch of other good stuff that they threw out, you know, computers and junk, but anyways, and I believe I showed that a while back, but anyways, um, this right here is a plug that came out of there, <laughs> but this here is one of those regular plugs that you would most likely see in an everyday modern house. And the colors that they come in in a modern house is black, white, and brown. <clears throat> Excuse me, sniffling my allergy back up this morning because of the storm. But anyways, um, these here have brass in them right here in the... Let me get it closer. Right about right in there in the sides there. Um, most likely the screws are not brass. Uh, nine out of ten times they're not. Um... This screw right here could be brass, but I'm still going to attach it to my magnet, but usually that one is. Um, on the back here, the strip is metal. It's the lowest paying metal there is. It's, you know, you can stick it to a magnet. Uh, that middle piece right there is aluminum. You know, really not a whole lot of brass in these things, but if you get uh, about a whole bucket full like I've got, the brass can add up. You know, you might have about, I mean, well, me, I might have like five pounds out there. But anyways, let's, I want to talk about these now. And there's a huge difference in these. And these are the kind of plugs that most stores like Walmart, Piggly Wiggly, or any grocery store or, you know, a store that has a counter with a, what is it called, the conveyor belt. This is what they will most likely have because they have to have a heavier duty yard plug to run that kind of machinery. But these here have more brass in them than a regular household plug. So if you find a store that's renovating, you want to stock up on these. And I'm going to show you why. You know, of course you got your brass in it, you know, like the other one. But the screws, 9 out of 10 times, they're going to be brass. So, you know, that's a lot of brass. And then the strip here is brass. And that middle piece right there is brass. So as you can see, there's more brass in this than anything. The only shredded metal there is that I know of are these little things right here. And a little bit of... Hang on, let me get it where you can see it. And that little bit of strip that's attached to the brass piece here. Oh. Yeah. Anyways. But anyways, um... Plugs and switches, you know, they all have brass in them, so collect all of them you can. Um, now, keep in mind, if you think they're not worth uh, your time, believe me, they're worth taking time for. Um, if you want to find a good way of bashing these and getting stuff out of these, Three Wheels Better has a great video on that. I'm going to show you a video eventually of how I do it, you know, how I get this busted up the way my way not his way but if you want to go look at his way and think his way is safer then hey go right ahead because my way is probably uh, stupid and I might get hurt from it but anyways I hope this video helps you um, scrappers don't take anything in for advantage uh, if it's something you've never taken apart before and you think it might not be worth your time Take it apart and see if it's worth your time. For example, I took a toy apart one time, and you can see the video on my YouTube videos about scrapping toys. And if you watch it, you can say, hey, it's not worth taking the toy apart. But stuff like this here, it's actually worth taking time to take it apart. Um, anyways, like, comment, and subscribe. This is J Money the Going Tornado, signing out.